after a day off, how'd the boys look uh, back on the ice? For Not bad. Today was good. We worked in some power play at the end and some defensive zone coverage stuff, so it was good. They worked hard and got a good sweat out of it. Your, your first power play unit is the same, except with the new guy subbing mm -hmm. in for, for Stromer. Um, how different is he, and how different does that make your power play, do you think? Not a lot of different. They, they're both playing the same position, you know, it's so... Coach just fills in for Stromer's spot, and uh, they're both right-handed shots. They both can move the puck and shoot the puck, so I don't think it's uh, it's going to change a whole lot. You know, how do you think different person, but the, they play the same role. How, how do you think they look today? I know it's early. But yeah, they were fine, and, and it was at the end of practice, so no, they moved the puck around a little bit. And when you play against your own penalty kill, and you can't shoot the puck like you want to shoot the puck, so it's just more or less movement and getting guys in their spots and anything else. So they were good. You notice it, it seems like after every practice, him and Panarin are working on stuff together. I'm sure you like to see that. Yeah, no, it's, Brett's trying to make our team better. And uh, like I said, the guys uh, didn't work out last year real well. This year he's come in with a great attitude, and he's done everything we asked, and he wants to be a good player. So they played together a couple of games now, I think, and overall it's been pretty good. Is Lafreniere getting some tips from Kreider about the net front? It looked like he was there a little bit today. I don't know. I <laughs> didn't see them talking, yeah, but I'm uh, sure Kreider's going to help yeah. the young kids out for sure. But, no, yeah, I mean, and again, we're <laughs> – we're going to see what happens, yeah. but hopefully that first unit's real hot, and you know how much time they give the kids, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they'll have to wait their turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With, uh, with, the, with the penalty killing, um, it's been good for you in the preseason, but obviously you're down to 28 or whatever mm -hmm. it is now. Um, having lost the guys you lost, does that make a big difference with incorporating new guys in terms of like what you're going to do? You or? like to get the pairs together as quick as possible, yeah. but again, it's not a it's not a huge deal. I mean, we I I've known Carpenter how he's played and you know the way he kills penalties. Uh, good Joe's a good solid penalty killer. We got Kreider and Zabana Jed. Trocheck's a good penalty killer, so it's not an issue. So like you, we've, we're real happy with our with our penalty kill guys there. So there's no. Uh, it's not like we're taking a step back because we added different players. I don't see that at all. I think it's a step forward to be honest with you.